Traders, this is Josh24214 and welcome to Bioshock 2. We're going to continue our look around at Atlantic Express. of that message. It sounds like there's been a debate between Ryan and Lamb over their idealists. We all know that Sophia Lamb's a uh, altruist to see the common good about everything. Ah, uh, here's another recording. What happens to the people? Another Mike Melancer story. are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I yeah, read the you word that slicer out? scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. A little girl. Cindy's alive. I know it in my gut. Well, at least we all know Mark is still alive. <laughs> ah, crap. Trap me. Oh, that's really nice. Ugh, Jam Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. Yeah, that is bringing me to the question. Who's waking me up? Okay. Now we can go through. Now we can go on. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. Well, when I'm done with Lamb, she'll be dead and chopped up like something good. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos. All responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Yeah, we all figured that out, that she's a religious person. Okay, you can also hack the vending machines. And for 
from machines or vending machines, you get free a free item. And I got so much money. Go to the elevator. <laughs> 